Hey guys, this is Maria from Gensita's nutrition team, and today's customer question is, should I be worried about oxalates? Someone wrote me concerned about eating too many foods high in oxalates. He said he started feeling better after avoiding some of these types of foods. First of all, thank you for this excellent question. Oxalate consumption is controversial, which you can easily discover by doing an internet search. Oxalic acid is found in some of the healthiest foods around, many of which form the basis of a healthy diet. Examples of foods high in oxalic acid include beets, Swiss chard, spinach, kale, avocados, sweet potatoes, legumes, berries, nuts and seeds, and dark chocolate. While these are whole, nutrient-dense, plant-based foods, in some sensitive individuals, oxalates can be problematic. Let's dig a little deeper. First of all, what are oxalates? Many plant foods contain oxalic acid that can bind to minerals such as iron and calcium in the GI tract to form oxalate. While the function of oxalates isn't well understood, they may possibly act as a way of binding to toxins. What we do know is that oxalates aren't meant to be absorbed by the body. What's the problem with oxalates? In some individuals, oxalates can accumulate and lead to kidney stones. There is also anecdotal evidence linking oxalates to worsening gastrointestinal symptoms like bloating, gas, abdominal pain, and GI conditions including IBD and IBS. The digestive concerns might be more prevalent in those with increased intestinal permeability or leaky gut, since more oxalates may be absorbed rather than naturally expelled through your stools. Studies show that those who suffer from recurring kidney stones and inflammatory bowel disease have increased levels of absorbed oxalates. So who is at risk? People who may experience problems with a high oxalate diet include those with increased intestinal permeability, with inflammatory bowel disease or irritable bowel syndrome, with autoimmune conditions linked to leaky gut, and those who have less of a bacteria called oxalobacter, which helps reduce the amount of oxalates your body absorbs. Those who have taken antibiotics will have less oxalobacter present, and therefore their bodies will absorb more oxalate. So what should you do if you have problems with oxalate? Avoid for a while those foods that contain the most oxalates, including spinach, chard, almonds, dark chocolate, beets, and some nuts. Once you're feeling better, try and reintroduce these foods back into your diet slowly. Avoid taking antibiotics. Cook and soak oxalate-containing foods. The process of cooking and or soaking high oxalate foods like dark leafy greens, beans, grains, and nuts decreases their oxalic acid levels. Drink green tea. Research shows that green tree extract binds to calcium oxalate, reducing the amount of circulating in your body and your risk for kidney stones. Focus on improving your gut health. This will reduce intestinal permeability, optimize your gut microbiome, and deter the body from absorbing oxalates. This might include spending time outside, exercising daily, getting optimal sleep, reducing stress, and of course, consuming whole foods high in plant fiber. It's important to not avoid high oxalate foods altogether, as they contribute large amounts of nutrients and microbes that promote health. Instead, use the above tips to help reduce your body's oxalate absorption while still consuming some oxalate foods. We hope this answers your question. If you want to contact us for more information, please email us at support at and we'll get back to you. At Consider, your health is important to us.